This album cover here is Hank Lachlan. It's titled Send Me the Pillow You Dream On. This album was released in 1967. Of course, the, the title of this album is Send Me the Pillow You Dream On. It's titled Hank Lachlan, Send Me the Pillow You Dream On, and other great country music hits, which includes Almost Persuaded and various other country hits through the years, Singing the Blues by the Great Marty Robbins. And songs like this. This album was one of my all-time favorites of the many albums I've collected through the many years of Hank Lachlan. This is one of my all-time treasures and of course he signed it for me and it is one of my favorites of Hank Lachlan's album. This next uh, project I'm gonna bring out is back when Hank and I and his son Hank Adam Lachlan went out to Weatherford, Texas uh, there was three country music legends on that show, Tommy Cash, the little brother of Johnny Cash, Freddie Hart, and of course Hank Lachlan. We did a couple shows out there, or they did, and I went along as a friend and uh, a great fan of Hank Lachlan at the Texas Opry in Weatherford, Texas, which was a great trip and a great experience for Stuart Pooley. This next thing I'm going to bring out is the original sheet music of Geisha Girl, which went to number four on Billboard's country music charts in 1958. This song was a great song and an all-time favorite Hank Lachlan classic. This is a few things I like to bring out here is Ralph Emery, I'd like to bring him out. He was the man that gave Hank Lachlan the nickname the Mayor of McClellan, Florida, back in the middle 60s, Ralph Emery, which has always been a, a close friend of mine through the years, through meeting him, through Hank Lachlan and other country music stars that I met in the many years I've traveled to Nashville with Hank Lachlan. As we go over here on the other side now, I'd like to bring out a couple pictures here. This is uh, Hank Lachlan with another album titled Send Me the Pillow You Dream On. It was released through RCA also with various other songs that it's all time favorites of country music fans uh, as well as was for Hank Lachlan. This picture here was photo was taken of Hank uh, during uh, a DJ convention in Nashville in 1967. And there's a publicity shot of Hank also in 1950 when he lived in Houston, Texas before signing with RCA Victor Records in Nashville. At the time he was with Four Star Records in Houston, Texas. And uh, also had his first number one record when he was in Houston, Texas, a song, 1953, titled Let Me Be the One. Getting on over here now to some things that are very close and dear to me. This pillow, as uh, Hank Lachlan come out with in 2000 or 2001 commemorative pillow, semi pillow you dream on. This pillow was his last signature he ever signed before his passing in March 2009. This is very dear and uh, part of my life and always will be because the memories live on. Oh man, this is good stuff. That's good. Over here, you got some more albums. You got a guitar. Over here is That's Hank Lachlan mm. in Ireland, and he had a great Irish tenor voice. Great Irish tenor voice. His tenor voice uh, was what uh, really made him in Ireland. And uh, he used to kid me. He said, "I'm another Garth Brooks now, Stuart." I said, "What do you mean by that?" Eh? He says, "I almost tore my clothes off when I got off the airplane." He says, "But my pocketbook wasn't near as big as Garth's." <laughs> 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 but anyway, that's uh, him, one of his producers, or 
program managers on the Shamrocks on the Great Irish Sea right here. Yep. These uh, okay. various poems I've written on Hank Locken, I've had I think 12 or 14 published. I've had 70 published all total and and the list goes on and on. And, and you have a few other mementos in here. Here's one of the last the last poster from Hank Williams' tour. Yes. This and is, he died. Uh, with the show we never made, he was going to uh, Canton, Ohio. A young man uh, from, Auburn, Ala from Auburn, Alabama, or was rather let me... There's a kid from Auburn that was I taking mean, him up there to, to yeah, this yeah. show, right? Right. Yeah, uh, he was a student at Auburn but lived in Montgomery and his daddy owned a gas station and got his son to drive Hank on this trip in which we all know he never made it to Canton, Ohio with Canton Memorial Auditorium, his death on New Year's Day 1953. And, and the poster, which... This was the last poster uh, that was ever made for us, Hank Williams for us performing, of course, he died. And so the event never happened. The event it, never happened. At the very top of the poster it says The Lord's the good... willing and the creek don't rise we'll see you at Cat Memorial Auditorium New Year's Day 1953. And he we didn't see anybody. Show he yet. never performed. Never got there. See of his passing. Over there on the other side you got a, a picture of Patsy Cline that was signed the same night that Hank Lachlan That's joined correct. the Opry and she joined the Opry the same night. Yeah, they joined the opera the same night, November 1960. This picture was signed by Patsy Klein, uh, one of her uh, publicity shots the same night her and Hank Lachlan joined the world famous Grand Opry in November 1960. And also that night, the great and late great Billy Walker was also inducted that night also. And, and then, so Hank died in what year? He died in uh, March 2009. He was 91 years of age. And he was right here, lived in Santa Rosa County, Florida, from McClellan. McClellan, Florida, north end of Santa Rosa County, uh-huh. Back in the woods, let me tell you. He was in the woods. He, he, uh, ah! But how many other, uh, how, name the two or three of the most familiar songs that people have. Well, let me name you two, two very familiar songs. It's classic standards in the world of country music in any form or fashion you want to put it. The first one is Please Help Me, I'm Falling. It went to number one in 1960, stayed number one for 14 weeks, then went into the pop charts and landed at number eight. The number two standard, which the song he wrote in 1950, before coming to Nashville, Tennessee, he recorded with RCA Victor Records with Chet Atkins, producer of both of these songs, the late great Chet Atkins, with Send Me the Pillow You Dream On. These two songs, as far as the word of country music, is familiar as a heartbeat and a big part of the history of country music, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Stuart Pooley, thank you for showing us around.